Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel Scorpio. I hope you are doing well Scorpio. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good. Oh, you have a two of cups. This reading for today Scorpio, this is a love reading. It is a love message for the Scorpio sign. Let us see what is the guided message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know Scorpio. Okay. What is coming towards Scorpio sign? I don't feel like I need to do that. I need to use that. Okay. <clears throat> I don't need a lot of tarot cards. What can I get for the Scorpio sign? What's the guided message for the Scorpio sign in love, in relationship, in dating, in getting to know? This reading for today, Scorpio, this is applicable for singles only. Let's see what is your love message. What is your love reading? <clears throat> at the end of the reading, at the end of the message, okay, I'll go around the table and look into, you know, the person that you're dealing with by, uh, by sign. So I do want you to think of your specific person, okay? Yeah. Okay, we'll pick up one overall collective energy and then we'll go around the table, Scorpio. Okay, what can I get for the Scorpio sign? Oh, the lover's card. This person miss you. This is the person that you are thinking and feeling right now, Scorpio. The Queen of Wands. Okay, all right. Let's start your reading, Scorpio. Um, <clears throat> you're dealing with someone younger, Scorpio. Okay, you are dealing with someone younger. If you're dealing with someone younger, it could be a Gemini. A Libra Aquarius energy this person is very athletic um, you like the physique like you like their physical that they're built you know their height this you know if you have a specific attraction when it comes to physical attraction you like their you know you're very attracted to their build or there's something about their height their booty <laughs> the broad shoulder the smile it it is mesmerizing, uh, Scorpio, to look at this person. They're very yummy, okay? If they're food, they're very yummy. Um, you know, the, the Page of Swords. Ooh, look at that. This is... You admire this person from a distance. Could be younger. Okay, let's see. Knight of Swords. The Hierophant card. Look, the, this person... <clears throat> um, you've got to plant the seed. I see this person reaching out. There is a younger, like maybe a young vibe. Maybe they're funny, lighthearted. I don't think this person, they've never been married, okay? Uh, maybe they're your same age. Because I'm kind of picking up younger than you or it could be a lighthearted person because their soul, it's their aura is between... I'm seeing a color of blue and yellow and a bit orange. So I would say they're very solemn and soulful when it comes to relationship with their parents and family. Very good breathing, you know, like they will bread well. So I'm hearing that maybe this person is very ambitious, but they've never been married. Okay, they've never been married. Uh, they don't have the crazy... They don't have baggage, okay? Like this person, they don't have a crazy breakup story in the past. So, um, you like this person. I see you in this person talking again. You will talk to them. You probably will see them. What the universe is advising is to plant the seed. So really go after and show this person that you like them in not a crazy way, please, okay? Because this could be the person that you will get married, you know? Because this is you, five, you know, the, the the page of swords so, sorry the five of swords is looking at the page of swords so you like this person don't play cupid but you don't have to tell them i love you i'll give you the stars and the moon just show them that you like them you know show them show them like be powerful and show this person that you're interested you know show be powerful and confident and show them that you're interested without looking cheap or looking desperate you know don't overdo it because this person is very intelligent very charming and i tell you scorpio even if you like reach out or initiate 
it's win-win why it's a jackpot this person is a jackpot if you plant the seed towards this person show them your interest or whether you flirt with them you know it's a jackpot in fact this person they're quite they've you've gotten their attention already scorpio i would say this person is they're quite a snob or maybe they can be charming but they can be snob like they could be charming to you and talkative but then they could switch off they're very serious about their job something about life too and athletic very disciplined they even you know they even wake up super duper early or they sleep very early but they're very disciplined now this could be the one it's nothing to lose you will only lose if you were not able to show them that you're interested okay but um what i'm getting at is that you've got a person you like them nothing is stopping you you can show them that you're interested especially if this person's going to reach out tomorrow or today if they're going to reach out you have to show them that you like them without being crazy crazy way of showing it you know just be confident flaunt it show it you know because this could be the one there's a marriage card here okay just don't go crazy don't go overboard just confidently i'm interested you know and if they don't show if they they don't reciprocate it it's still a win because you get to know you planted the seed whether this person didn't reciprocate you showing interest you still planted the seed and walk away confidently you know because i'm seeing the hierophant card in here you also have a queen of wands this is the this is definitely you Let's see like if you initiate you will get a response you will get a reply scorpio so there's nothing to lose you only lose if for the things that you didn't do okay for me i will i feel i feel i feel like i feel like my i feel like yeah, i'm losing if i didn't do it whether i'm rejected or not rejected you know i it's it's like what i said you know you will only i only re regret things i didn't do but if i do it and i'm rejected i don't there's nothing to lose in there because i done it you know i've tried it um so what else scorpio let me see this is kind of freestyle the queen of wands of, i don't know you have a fear this is a romance reading okay so for some of you guys i'm scared i'm scared because they might reject me well i'm telling you they're not gonna reject you or they're not gonna ignore you how can they reject you you're so pretty you're so beautiful you're so mysterious you're so amiable don't you have confidence to yourself scorpio they might not respond or reply to you right away but you planted the seed you know i'm also picking up like okay initiate if you initiate and they don't respond they don't reply there's a four in a lover's card in here it might take them time maybe four days maybe a month because something there's something in here that they will not forget you they will not forget you okay um what else and i took c they will reply it might be late but they will respond they will reply i'm also getting the vibe scorpio that there's a soulmate in here you're manifesting a soulmate you're manifesting a soulmate for some of you right now you're the queen of wands the two of cups you're manifesting a soulmate to return the soulmate that you're thinking right now when i say soulmate twin flame when i say when i refer i would reference your person as a tw twin flame or soulmate because it's unshakable something like it's hard to shake off um the lover's card the four of pentacles and the knight of pentacles in here you're manifesting a soulmate and they will eventually okay yeah you're manifesting a soulmate four of pentacles in here <clears throat> you will hear from the soulmate they could be dating someone okay you're manifesting a soulmate they you're manifesting a soulmate back you want this soulmate they could be dating someone but they're about to let it go okay that's the reason why i'm spacing out because <laughs> i'm seeing someone that you like or soulmate unshakable someone who's someone who's like unforgettable you're like i couldn't forget you um they're dating someone but they're going to let it go I don't think this person super duper hurt you maybe it just fall it, it just went cold okay 
um, I don't think this is an ex. It's probably maybe you talk to them for a short period of time and it fizzle out. I think they have options, Scorpio. And it's it's good that you and this person didn't go into like a formal relationship because they're in a stage of kind of exploring and playing. Okay, so you're going to get them back and they will be in a more, no more exploring, no more playful because this is the person. They're letting go. I don't know if this person is like letting go. Like I'm letting go. Like they're letting go the exploring. They're going to be, they're done with exploring and playing. They will be choosing. So that's the reason why the universe took you like Scorpio. We're going to leave you. Just move away. Okay. Like the universe, like Scorpio, move away from this person. They're exploring, playing. And you're manifesting it back. And the universe checked this person for you. Okay, Scorpio, you're manifesting this soulmate. Okay, let me check. We'll check it for you. Okay, it's good. They're going to return. They're going to return if they're ready to choose. So that's the reason why it didn't work out. Okay. Um, yeah, it's a soulmate. It's a soulmate. You have so much chemistry, but you wonder why they did not pursue you or why didn't they stay? They're confused. They had so many options in the past. They're letting it go now one by one. Nothing stayed. Two of Pentacles in here. So that's the collective reading. Now let's look into Scorpio. Let's go around the table and look and I'll pull one card for each of the sign that you're dealing with. Okay. So let's start with Libra. Okay, Scorpio. Scorpio, if you're dealing with a Libra, Sun, Moon, and Venus. If you're dealing with a Libra, Sun, Moon, and Venus, they're ignoring you. If you're dealing with a Libra, Sun, Moon, and Venus, they are ignoring you. And this Libra, Sun, Moon, and Venus... They're ignoring you and also they will forget about ignoring you because something is going to keep them busy. And randomly, this person is going to call you or reach out and they will forget about, I don't know, what is your quarrel or drama or playing Cupid, but they will act like the lover that you want. So give this, give this Libra space that they want. They're ignoring you right now. And they will forget that they're ignoring you or playing Cupid or playing Ego. They will just randomly show up in your DM or call you or text you and like, Hi, Scorpio. Yeah. Now, if you are a Scorpio and you're dealing with a fellow Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Venus. So if you're dealing with a fellow Scorpio, they are waiting for you. The fellow Scorpio is waiting for your love, waiting for your call. It is watching you online. It is thinking and thinking and thinking whether to reach out or not to reach out or reply back or not to reply back. Okay. So the thinking heavily of what is next. See, they desire you. The thinking. I believe this, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, this could be an ex or someone you dated on and off. There's a lot of desire. They wanted to forget you. Like the devil card, the five of pentacles, this person, they want to forget you. They want to move on, but the heart wants what it wants. So they have to solidify their decision. Now, if you're a Scorpio, if you're dealing, if you're a Scorpio and you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Venus. Okay, they want me to keep this in reverse. So, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they're cool. They will say sorry. They don't want drama. They want to get back together as soon as possible. Okay. You don't have to pursue or chase the Sagittarius. They want to take over. Okay. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Venus. Okay. But they don't want drama. Like as soon as they connect with you and there's a blame game or playing Cupid or drama, they would give up. Okay. If you want them to say sorry, you you will hear back from them about the sorry, the apology. But like instead of being emotional and dramatic about what took place in the past, they want to be logical. They miss you. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Venus. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, 
the Capricorn is recovering from something connected to money, something connected to they've lost something or they've lost someone or the Capricorn is losing something. The Capricorn is not winning in terms of there is something complicated in their life. So you've got to give them the space to sort that out and they will return amicably. Okay, the, the Capricorn is problematic. Remember, Pluto is in Pluto retrograde in Capricorn, so maybe there's a restructuring with the Capricorn. Okay. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Venus, the Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Venus, they really miss you. But you have to wait for the Aquarius to make the move. Do not mo Scorpio, listen to me. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Venus, you have to wait for them to make the move. Do not attempt to make any more move, okay? You have to let them choose you or reach out, okay? If you're dealing with the Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Venus, Scorpio, the Pisces is healing from your breakup or from something connected to romance. Uh, the Pisces is going through some dramatic changes in life connected to family and home the pisces would be like look at that it's yellow already so the pisces will be available for you in terms of romantically so you just w just let the pisces sort out something connected to family something connected to healing you will have the Pi you will hear from the pisces again okay if you are a Scorpio and if you are dealing with an Aries, Sun, Moon, and Venus. The Aries, for some of you, you block this Aries, Sun, Moon, and Venus. If you want the Aries, you have to reach out. Otherwise, this or like, if you want the Aries, you kind of need to follow up or reach out or somehow text them. Like, connect with them confidently without overdoing it because if because next month they will have a new love so if you want to make them not forget you you've got to somehow do something that will get their attention now if you're dealing with an Aries okay now if you're dealing with a Taurus Scorpio Sun Moon and Venus oh the Taurus still loves you the Taurus, they still have feelings for you or love for you, but they won't move. They have feelings, but, you know, it's like I have feelings, but I won't chase you. The Taurus, yeah. I'm just going to wait for you, Scorpio, to chase me. The, the, Taurus, the Taurus is being stubborn, to be honest with you, but they still have a lot of feelings. Um, they're also reorganizing something connected to their life or to their schedule, so... Um, they're on do not disturb but they still like you but they wouldn't chase now if you're dealing with a Gemini Scorpio the Gemini the Gemini is very indecisive if you're dealing with a Gemini the Gemini is very indecisive um, you have to wait for them to decide like don't chase them let them chase you back because if they chase you or respond or reply it means that's their decision and you've got to respond to them they're indecisive right now but if they do decide and if they reach out if their decision you would know their decision because they will reach out and once they reach out you have to reply back in order for things to continue if you if they reach out and you play ego they will give up okay gemini if you're dealing with a cancer oh the cancer is upset you you might probably have upset a cancer maybe unconsciously maybe it's not your it's not deliberate you have upset this cancer um, they might have blocked you I think they're upset right now like I get that the cancer is upset or angry and that's it okay if you're dealing with a Leo, Sun, Moon, and Venus, oh, the Leo will come forward. The Leo will find a way to reach out to text you. The Leo will surprise you. 
if you're dealing with a Leo, Sun, Moon, and Venus, the Leo will surprise you. The Leo is exciting. Leo. Yeah. Now, if you're dealing with a Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Venus, well, the Virgo would like to start all over again. Or you could, it's possible that you will have a Virgo, new, new, new lover in your life. There's two things. You, ha will, you will have a new lover, and it's a Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Venus, or the Virgo would like to start all over again. And this is what I have for you, Scorpio. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for connecting with me. Thank you so much, Scorpio, for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, Scorpio, you know what to do. Click the bell. Click subscribe. I will see you soon. You have a great day.